Hello, this is the online worship service for the Timonium Phoenix Cooperative Parish of the United Methodist Church. Thank you for joining us at this time, and we hope that as a result of you being here with us that you'll be mightily blessed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God always. Happy are those whose help is in the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God and keeps faith forever. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous and watches over the sojourners, but the Lord brings the way of the wicked to ruin. The Lord will reign forever from generation to generation. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. God of love, plant us in the soil of your grace. Nurture us with the strength of Christ, the vine of everlasting life. Enlighten us with the wisdom of your spirit, which flows through us today and all days. Abide in us, that we may abide in you and live in your love. In your holy name we pray, amen. And now a reading from the book of Isaiah. Why do bad things happen to good people? Isn't that a question we all ask? In the middle third of the book attributed to the prophet Isaiah, the part known as Second Isaiah, Judah and Jerusalem have been destroyed by the Babylonians, and most of the Israelites have been deported to Babylonia, far from their homeland. They have asked why this is their lot, since they have lived righteous lives. And the writer in 2 Isaiah says, Do not fear. God is good. God is great. God is with you. And God responds to the faith of the Israelites through their redemption and the redemption of the nations for whom Israel has suffered. So remember, do not fear. God is with you. Isaiah 35, 4 through 7a says, Say to those who are of a fearful heart, Be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. The waters shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool, and the thirsty ground springs of water. We Methodists often wrestle with the words of the following scripture. Methodist belief is codified by John Wesley, and affirmed through the centuries since, is that faith alone is enough for God's redemption. So can we say, as James does, that faith without works is dead? Wesley believed that faith, in and of itself, is enough for God's redemption. He also believed that because one has faith, the person of faith wants to do work that expresses that faith. But faith alone is enough for God's redemption of our brokenness. You decide where you are on the issue after hearing the following. 2 James 1 through 17 reads, My brothers and sisters, do you, with your acts of favoritism, really believe in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ? For if a person with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and if a poor person in dirty clothes also comes in, and if you take notice of the one wearing the fine clothes and say, have a seat here, please, while to the other is poor, you say, stand there or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves who become judges with evil thoughts? <coughs> Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters. Has not God chosen the poor in the world to be rich in faith? and to be heirs of the kingdom that he has promised to those who live and love him. But you have dishonored the poor. 
Is it not the rich who oppress you? It is not they who drag you into court? Is it not they who blaspheme the excellent name that was invoked over you? You do well if you really fulfill the royal law according to the scripture. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you show partiality, you commit sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. For whoever keeps the whole law but fails in one point has become accountable for all of it. For the one who said, you shall not commit adultery, also said, you shall not murder. Now, if you do not commit adultery, but if you do murder, you have become a transgressor of the law. So speak and so act as those who are to be judged by the law of liberty. For judgment will be without mercy to anyone who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith but do not have works? Can faith save you? If a brother or sister is naked and lacks daily food, and one of, them, one of you says to them, Go in peace, keep warm and eat your fill, and yet you do not supply their bodily needs? What is the good of that? So faith by itself, if it has no works, is dead. Amen.